by the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Most holy. Cassandra. Cassandra, you knew the Divine. Is this really her? I... I don't know. It is said the souls of the dead pass through the fate and sometimes linger, but we know the spirits lie. Be wary, Inquisitor. I fear the Divine is indeed dead. It is likely we face a spirit, or a demon. You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the Fade yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Really? How hard is it to answer one question? I'm a human, and you are... I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. No, I don't. The memories you have lost were taken by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly, for Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every Dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The Nightmare has fed well. The big demon Eremond was trying to bring through. Yes. It's nearby. Yes. Well, shit. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. What's going on here? Bring forth the sacrifice.
So, your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. So this is what? An accident? A random ricochet in the middle of a fight? And if it was? If it was, then neither the Maker nor Andraste were in any way involved in this. I'm just... If you believe in the Maker, then you believe he made this world and everything in it, including your accident. And if you do not, then nothing has changed. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. I wondered if you might be concerned about the Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Could that truly have been the most holy? We have survived in the Fade physically. Perhaps she did as well. Or, if it is a spirit that identifies so strongly with Justinia, that it believes it is her, how can we say it is not? No demon would have been so helpful without asking something in return. I'm less concerned with her than I am with the nightmare she mentioned. It is a fear demon, as I suspected, likely drawing on terrors related to the Blight. Fear is a very old, very strong feeling. It predates love, pride, compassion, every emotion, save perhaps desire. Be wary. The Nightmare will do anything in its power to weaken our resolve. After what it did to my fellow Wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down.